click class let us continue with a new chapter where you have chapter 10 okay our new chapter will be mechanical wave okay where is the example for mechanical wave for information this one is the wave that need medium okay this one is the wave that need medium to travel for example what what is the example of the wave that need medium for example water wave okay water wave and what are the other example okay for example sound wave okay water wave need water medium to travel sound wave we actually need a medium to travel okay other than this okay uh, for example if i have a string okay if i flip the string up and down okay then you found that the pattern of the string will have such pattern okay that's mean a wave actually okay created in the rope okay so in this case rope can be the medium okay and you found that and uh, when the wave for example travel to the right wave in this case travel to the right okay and how the particle oxalate you're gonna the particle in the rope actually oxalate up and down okay and we are not only has a particle we have many particle in the rope okay so we say that the, the particle in the rope actually undergo simple harmonic motion and what is the equation for the simple harmonic motion that you learn okay the most important equation will be x equals to we have this equation uh, x actually equals to a sine omega t and okay this one stands for displacement for the particle okay so in simple harmonic motion you found that uh, for example a mass attached to a spring okay and this max oxalate right here just involve one object or we calculated lion this by particle we consider a particle here only oxalate okay but in chapter 10 you found that on the wave there are so many particle oxalate okay so i have to okay um do something on okay i have second ubas why equation ni jadi macam mana kita ubas why okay oleh sebab di sini melibatkan banyak partikel okay dan partikel semua ni mempunyai kedudukan yang berbeza ni okay kalau tangan saya sebagai sumber untuk hasilkan gelombang okay so for example if i want to specify the position of the particle so what do what is the parameter that we use we use the parameter distance from the source for this particle for example i denote it with x okay so we have plus minus kx here okay jadi dalam sudut angular displacement ni for the equation for the wave i have to plus minus kx and this x actually indicate the position for the particle yaitu distance from the source eh? distance from the source okay jadi kalau dalam satu persamaan ada dua parameter yang uh, symbol dia sama is actually confusing you right so what do ahli sains buat apa ahli sains buat mereka pun tukar simbol ini maksud 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 dia masih sama iaitu maksud dekat sini masih sesaran bagi partikel hanya instead of x we put it y okay jadi, jadi apa ni this one displacement for the particle sama juga dengan chapter 9 this one actually stand for amplitude okay so means here okay displacement for the particle actually depends on time it also depends on 
which particle we are referring to. Okay, and this K for information, bukan bermaksud spring constant. Okay, dalam kes ini, memandangkan ini equation of wave, this K for information means wave number. Apa maksud wave number? Cara nak derive formula dia kita tak belajar sebab panjang sangat. Okay, so you just need to know wave number is actually equals to 2 pi over lambda. Okay, from if I know the value for the wave number, then I can find what is the wavelength for that wave. Okay, saya boleh cari pan ini bermaksud wavelength. Saya boleh cari panjang gelombang untuk okay, uh, gelombang tersebut. Okay. So, again, without delaying time, let us look at a question in tutorial. Okay, apa soalan tersebut, kita cuba tengok. Okay. So, you turn to page. Okay, muka surat. Iaitu yang ada tutorial 10 ni. So, you look at the question number 8. Okay. Soalan nombor 8. Kita cuba tengok soalan ini. Okay. Persamaan gelombang diberi sebab saya dapati dalam persamaan tersebut okay, in the angle you are not only have the term variable time kita juga ada variable x okay it's actually refer to the particle in the medium okay bagi gelombang and kalau saya dapati ada persamaan yang begini lebih baik kita kembangkan dulu okay jadi kalau kita ke kembangkan okay 2 pi dia kena jadi 2 pi t okay kalau 2 1 okay so I have this eh? 2 pi t divided by 0 point 4 plus 2 pi x dy by 80, right? Okay. So, I have this. So, first of all, what do they ask? Okay. No. Roman 1, dia tanya tentang amplitude. Okay. So, if you have no idea about on finding the value for the amplitude, okay. So, what do you do? Okay. We always compare with its general equation. Okay, apa general equation bagi kelombang? Y equals to A sin omega T plus KX. Okay, jadi dari sini, kalau Y sama dengan Y, T sama dengan T, okay, T sama dengan T, in di sini T, di sini benar ada term, variable time, di sini you jumpa variable yang sama, maka I can do a conclusion that amplitude is actually equal to 2 ok jangan lupa you, you should include unit for it alright so what is the unit for this ok jadi memandangkan nilai unit bagi x dan y yang diberi dalam cm ok In cm then what is the unit for amplitude will be in cm as well lah. ok so that's how we solve this question. Okay. Macam mana dengan Roman 2? Roman 2 apa yang dia minta? Dia tanya wavelength. Kalau dia tanya wavelength, maksudnya dia tanya nilai lambda berapa. Okay. So in order to find wavelength, you always look at the wave number, the value of k. Sebab apa? Sebab wave number is actually equal to 2 pi over lambda. Okay. Jadi nilai k yang diberi ni. 2 pi bahagi 80. Okay, saya akan samakan dengan formula K with number. Okay, 2 pi, 2 pi, kiri kanan ada. Okay, bermaksud apa nilai lambda? 80 ya. Okay, jadi memandangkan nilai X dan Y in the unit CM means our lambda in CM as well. Okay, so we have this question. Eh? Okay, kita ada solution soalan ini iaitu like this and how about next one apa benda lain yang dia minta cari dia minta cari frequency ok jadi macam mana kita nak cari frequency ok 
So other than amplitude, other than wave number, satu lagi parameter yang penting kita boleh dapat dari sini iaitu saya dapati term yang always come together with time is actually omega. Okay? Omega, okay? The value of the omega, kalau saya buat comparison, saya dapat hubungan ni. Okay? Omega. Macam mana saya nak hubungkan angular velocity and frequency? Okay. Memang saya tahu omega sama dengan 2 pi bahagi t. Memang saya tahu begini. Eh? Okay. 1 over t adalah sama dengan frekuensi. Kan? Adalah sama dengan frekuensi. Okay. Jadi kiri, kanan pun ada frekuensi. Maksudnya nilai frekuensi sama dengan berapa? Okay, kira dia dengan gunung-gunung calculator. Unit bagi frekuensi apa? Hertz. Okay, so that's how we solve this problem. Okay, dan kita sambung lagi. Macam mana next part? Next part, iaitu ini untuk Roman 3. Next part, dia tanya speed. Okay, kemudian kalau saya baca soalan ini. Okay, kalau saya baca soalan betul-betul. Okay. Dekat soalan ini, okay, kalau you baca sentence, okay, salah satu ayat sebelum Roman 4 ini, determine the following. Okay, and then from the wave. Kemudian untuk Roman 4, dia kata dia nak nilai speed. Means they want speed for the wave lah. Jadi apa formula speed for the wave? Okay, so this formula actually you are so familiar with that. Iaitu equation yang sangat popular iaitu V sama dengan F lambda. Okay, kita guna ni je dan biasa. Okay, satu-satunya equation terus H laju gelombang speed of the wave ini. Okay, jadi you hanya ganti nilai frekuensi ni ke dalam. Nilai lambda iaitu AT. Okay. Then you, you can get your answer in centimeter per second. Okay. Jadi ini satu-satunya formula. H laju gelombang. Nilai ni tak sama dengan kalau dia minta speed for the particle. Line. Okay. So this one actually show how fast the wave travel. Okay. So we have this. Okay. Roman 4, kita ada ni. So, that's how we find speed. And what else? Okay. Bahagian B, bahagian inilah yang paling okay, susah bagi student. Okay, iaitu, okay, kalau you tengok soalan ini, dia nak kita cari maximum value of dy over dt. Okay. At x equals to 0. Okay. So, equation Y yang diberi, this one. Okay? Equation Y given this one. We want to differentiate this function against time. Okay, to hadap masa. So, what do we do? Okay, apa yang kita buat? Okay? Kalau kita nak differentiate. Okay? Untuk senang, kita tengok balik apa yang kita dah expand. Expand. Okay? So, sekali lagi, Madam tulis semula apa yang kita dah expand. Eh? So, here actually 2 pi t divided by 0 0.4 tambah 2 pi x. So, I'm going to differentiate this. Okay? Kalau saya nak differentiate this function against time, 2 is a constant. Memang saya tak kacau dia. Eh? Kemudian, kalau saya differentiate sine angle saya dapat cos and then this angle kita salin bulat-bulat 2 pi t salin bulat-bulat sudut ni ok dan saya kena differentiate yang dalam ni kan ok kemudian yang dalam ini saya cuma akan fokus dekat yang ada variable time I will only differentiate this part, sebab dia ada variable time. Jadi kalau saya differentiate ni, okay, hasil dia hanya 2 pi bahagi 0.4 lah. 
Okay, dan ingat ini sentiasa kita akan bawa ini ke depan. Okay, jadi kalau saya bawa dia pergi ke depan, kalau you simplify, dapat 10 pi. Okay, cuba kamu simplify. Eh. Kemudian cos ini, kita saling seperti biasa sahaja untuk ini. And ini memang jawapan di y over dt kita. Kemudian kalau ikut soalan dia nak nilai ni at x equal 0 kan. Jadi kita pun ganti x equal 0. So if I substitute x equal 0, the equation that you get. Dalam, du, dalam kurungan ni hanya tinggal apa? Hanya tinggal 2 pi t bahagi 0.4 lah. Dan satu lagi. Kalau you tengok, okay. Keyword yang ada, kita nak maximum value bagi dy over tt. Okay, so how I'm going to get the value yang maximum untuk dia. Okay, 10 pi ni memang nilai yang tak boleh ubah dah. So what can you do? You only can do something on the cost angle. Okay, jadi macam mana saya nak buat nilai ni sebesar yang mungkin nilai cost angle saya kena jadi yang kan nilai dia maximum lah. So what is the value cost angle yang paling besar? information cost okay it will be cost zero for information say the pas satu lah okay so, then next macam mana saya nak dapatkan nilai di y dt yang maximum kalau satu darab dengan 10 pi you get 10 pi lah jadi jawapan akhir dia yang dia nak adalah ini okay and Dia tanya, what is this value refer to? Okay, apa nilai ini merujuk kepada? Eh? Jadi, apa maksud dia for information? We know that Y actually stand for displacement, right? So, if I use displacement over time, saya sebenarnya dapat velocity. So, what kind of velocity of this? As we know, this one displacement for the particle, right? Jadi, ini adalah H laju particle. Okay, so as we know, particle in the medium actually vibrate, I vibrate, right? They vibrate dengan simple harmonic motion, right? So I add on a term vibrational velocity for the particle. And okay, it's about the keyword maximum value here. Then you tambah lagi. It's actually refer to the maximum vibrational velocity for the particle, okay? Jadi ini jawapan untuk soalan nombor 8B. Okay. So hopefully you can answer, you can understand this question well. Alright.